Blake here with Source Decoded. In part two of how to vertically center a child div inside of its parent. So last in the last video we talked about a very common mistake of using margin auto to try to vertically center a div. Um, and so this video we're gonna we're actually just gonna focus on the solutions. What what can we do to actually accomplish this? And the very first method I'm gonna talk about is a table method. It's the one I use the most, um, the one I use the most, but it's also my least favorite of all the methods of how to how to vertically center a div. It's it's not that it the nice thing about it is that it's IE8 plus compatible, but it's it's basically we're using tables to control layout and I just don't that's kind of against my principles. It's just tables should be used for tabular da da data, but since it's the most I mean it's really well, browser compatibility here gets the job done, and that's why I use it. So we we'll start out, we have our parent div, which is our table. Then we have another a child, which is the table cell. And then we finally actually get into the child that we want to center vertically. So let's look at the CSS here. We have display table um, for, the, for the outer parent, display table cell. For the next inner child and then vertically align middle that's what does this the display table cell vertically align middle that's what makes it vertically centered and then on our child we've got um, our margin zero auto here which is basically just putting it horizontally centered and and there you have it uh, it it like i said it gets the job done it works but it's just using the table for for something I don't, I don't think we should be using it for Okay, let's scroll down here a ways and, and come up with a, what I like to call head in the knot method because it's just, it, it's actually, I can't decide if I love this method or if I hate it because it is really compatible, IE8 plus, and it's, I feel like it's better than using tables, but still it, it feels like more, really like it's a hack. And, but it's kind of a cool hack. <laughs> so let's talk about it. So the parent, you can see it over here, the parent is position relative with a background color of um, gray. And the secret here is the child is positioned absolutely. When you position a child absolutely, it takes it out of the flow of the document and no longer has a width and a height. And so we give it one by saying um, top zero, right zero, bottom zero, and left zero. And what that actually does is it makes a new bounding box for the element. And we force the element to now be with 100, 100 pixels, height 100 pixels, so it doesn't take up that full bounding box. And by giving it a margin auto, we're now sending margin to equal values all around this, this div, this child div, and that forces it to be both horizontally and vertically centered. It, um, if you can understand this whole concept of this bounding box, this is actually a really cool idea and cool method of, of getting it to work and it's well supported. Um, I have heard of some issues with some phone browsers not re rendering this correctly. If anyone has experienced something like that with this method, uh, please leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about uh, compatibility issues with this method. Okay, next we're gonna scroll down a little bit more and we are gonna talk about a method I really like to use, which is the transform method. Um, I don't get to use this as much because it's only an IE9 plus support on this, but it just makes sense. Okay, so we've got our parent, nothing spectacular about that. The secret really is in these three lines. We position the element relative, we give it a top of 50%, which forces the top of the child div to be in the direct center of its parent, and then we transform it and we give it a translate y negative 50%. This works because translate is based off of the height of the child div. So we go 50% up of the child div's height. Beautiful. Works. It's great. And you can see I, I'm just uh, horizontally centering it with my margin zero auto. Just This just makes sense. Only problem is I9 plus to get this to work. So um, I really like this method though. Okay, the last method I want to talk about tonight is the Flexbox method. It's the future. It's the way that the web's going to be going, and I'm excited for it. 
Um, so with flex, it's just it's what I want to do from the very beginning. You do display flex on your parent element, and then it's just a simple margin auto auto on the child. Can it get easier than that? The only problem with this method is it's newer technology. IE 11 only is what supports it. Um, IE 10 did support a, a previous um, version of, of the Flexbox model, but um, basically you have to be one of the latest browsers to use this. And, and sadly, I have to support clear back to IE 8 most of the time, so I won't be able to use this, but it's a beautiful thing. Um, if you want more explanations of how this model works, there's a really cool CSS Tricks article on it. If you just Google CSS Tricks Flexbox, it should come up. I highly recommend reading this article. It's just got a great explanation of what the Flexbox model is. Well, that sums it up for me tonight, today. Uh, I, I'll share the link to my JS Fiddle so that all of you can come and back and look at this. And if you have any other ways of horizontally and vertically center, centering a uh, div, please uh, leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear what you guys got. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.